Fox 13 Sydney Glenn joins us live tonight from Farmington High School, where people say they are hopeful their players will see a full season as they head back to school this fall. Sydney. Bob, lots of excitement here tonight. Night one, lots of fans in the stadium. It's loud out here, people getting ready for this season, but parents say seeing a game canceled on the first night of the season has them really wondering how COVID-19 is going to impact them. Okay, thank you. Friday night football is back. It's fun to be back here and it's fun to feel like it's normal and I just I hope that we get to stay here. The thought of how often these stands will stay full and how many times the boys will get to play looms. I think listening that Bountiful was canceled there's a lot there's stress there's worry what's going to happen are we going to be limited to players again are we going to not be able to fill the stands to have our friends cheer us on at every game. The hope is every game will happen. And we're doing everything we can allowable by state law to keep our students safe. A spokesperson for the Davis School District says a lot of the season comes down to personal responsibility on and off the field. We're not testing students, but we tell students if you have the symptoms and they know what those symptoms are, please let us know. Please get tested. We cannot have you around when you're sick. Many people have missed these Friday nights. It was really sad to limit tickets. I mean, grandparents, aunts, uncles, even students were not allowed into the stands. Full of cheering and tackling. And most importantly, touchdowns. I really hope that we're able to play a full season. Last year, there were a lot of COVID-19 mandates for school, including for most of the year, masks being required. This year, we're seeing a lot of changes. Masks and vaccines for those eligible are being encouraged by many school districts, but not mandated. Live in Farmington, Sydney Glenn, Fox 13 News, Utah. Sydney, thank you. When a student tests positive for COVID-19, local health departments will conduct contact tracing. Those who are exposed at school or a related activity will need to quarantine unless they are fully vaccinated or can prove they have antibodies from previously testing positive in the past 90 days. The Davis School District hopes if a student tests positive, they will not have to cancel activities and events, but that will depend on the spread. <music>